Welcome to another edition of Behind the Scenes with a Fog Monster. My name is Kurt and I'm going to be your host this evening for what I believe is our first special edition because this is a real breakthrough in our technology. You could say it's the next level in what we were trying to do with the Fog Monster here. So what you see is a small pipe system and we've put our LED lights our little light pods here in our Kickstarter every six inches so these could each be manhole covers now what we've done to our system is a slight mod in the vent hole we've actually put a 26 millimeter fan and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on and first I'm gonna show you the natural pressure so ideally if you didn't have the fan uh, that's what it's gonna be so we'll go ahead and turn this on now, whatever you see come out of here would be the natural flow. So we don't need any uh, gadgets to cause the flow to come. This is just the natural venting. And you can see when I pull this back, we're getting a nice uh, natural flow in there. But for some of you, that might be enough. But for others, you may want a little bit more. Now, interestingly, these are set at exactly two inches. So you could build your sewer system around it, but let's go ahead and we're going to put our fan on there. And now, as you can see, we've got a whole new ball game. So we're getting really good height on this. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up the table again. But the main point is that now you could actually put a sewer cover on. So this is just a little a Dwarven Forge component here. Let's just imagine that that was a sewer cover and let's put another one on and say that was a sewer cover. Well, that's pretty cool in and of itself. So we've proven that the technology will work, but of course it was not enough for us. So we said, what if, because some of you have been asking about a Y splitter, well, this isn't a Y splitter, but this is a T split. So let's just go ahead and put this on and see how far we can take it. So hopefully the camera can see that, but if you can't, let's pan it around. So you see we've got fog coming out through the, the main three and we also have it coming out the ends. So I think that just from what we see here, obviously you can do the calculation. We will be able to run a pressurized pipe system. Okay, so I've turned the automatic focus off uh, so that we could get a little better idea of some height here. So as you can see next to the pipe, we've got a 28 millimeter figure and we're getting a good two to three inches on there. Um, let's move around the front, the front here. We're getting a very good flow out of here. Let's put a little 28 millimeter figure there so you can see. But we're getting a very good flow out of this side. We're getting good flow out of the center. And we're getting good flow here as well. So let's put our 28 millimeter figure there. Overall, I would say very successful, guys. Let's take a look at that fan. Okay, so let's take a little look at our mod here. We've placed this 26 millimeter fan over the vent hole. And uh, what we would actually do in manufacturing this component, we would make something that would actually fit inside the hole and the fan would basically be a plug-in for it. So if you wanted to have the pressurized system then you could have that um, and you should be able to get quite a bit of pressure out of it all right so i think we're going to just call this a wrap here today but uh, i think you'd agree we have a very successful system here look at this if you were into steampunk i think you're probably thinking of all the possibilities that could come from this now so uh, happy to show you that we do have the ability to pressurize the system, reduce the size of the pipes, and run it all around your table.